<laughs> there you go. Look at that beautiful puppy. Hi. There's Coda. We are out. There's Dorian. There's Keegan. Lights a little bit bright right now. We're out here. Indian, yeah, in the beautiful wilderness, Indian Caves, Indian Caves State Park, and uh, we're hiking up Trail 7. It's, it's dark really time. Fun. <laughs> it's fun. Boys are getting a little bit of a taste of, of night hiking because fortunately their daddy hikes in the night a lot. I don't mind it, so I'm just giving the boys a bit of a taste of it and Coda as well. So, I'm first. huh? scared to go at first yeah Coda was scared to go he didn't want to hit the trail so he's yeah. at the age now that we're starting to separate him more from velcro our older dog he's he's three and velcro's 13 so it just it's time for him to get out and about more and more and velcro can't do it anymore so we're gonna go up here he slipped out of his collar he did. We're going to go up here and we're going to uh, come to the, there's going to be a T. We're going to take a left and we're going to go to the next shelter. So we'll see you guys when we get to the shelter. All right. Well, we made it up to the uh, Adirondack shelter on trail seven and there are people there. So we decided instead of going to the camp zone, Dorian wants to sleep by a shelter or in a shelter. So we're going to go back down this trail here. Oh, about three miles. <laughs> about three miles. And uh, we'll be back with you because it's a wee bit dark. All right, guys. Let's roll. I don't care if it's three miles. Yeah, it's all right. Some of the things you see at night here. Check this out. Get a, a hole right there. Ants are going down that little hole and coming all the way. Following them. We're following them. We're following them. Okay, keep following them. And they're going right back in another hole. The things you see at night, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ugh. Well, we made the three mile hike <laughs> in the dark and the hot, hot, it. hot woods. Thank God I noticed it. Yeah, Keegan noticed it up on the peak. We're uh, we gotta be quiet because we are sharing the camp with some people. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get set up here and uh, and enjoy ourselves. Pretty cool. Somebody has a little grill plate up here. I said it's pretty cool somebody has a little grill plate up here that they have. Too bad. It's ours now. It's not ours. Too bad this this shelter wasn't one of them that Steve-O's been to. What? If it was one of Steve-O's shelters, there would be uh, some hooks on it. I think I can probably... I don't know. I might end up hanging from here to that tree right there across it. Hey here, baby boy. Come on. Come on up here. Coda up. Good boy. Morning, Dorian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Morning, Coda. So we made it to the outer on deck shelter. And uh, they're rocking out in the in the tent right now. As the one we were going to, like we said, full, full of people. Uh, we came up to this one last night. Uh, there are some campers over there. I strung my hammock up between the shelter and there I've got, I've got a coat attached to the other side of my of my, oh my tree slig. Excuse me. 6 a.m. I'm a little sleepy today. I think I fell asleep fairly late. I was reading my book light in here. Got a book. Born to Run. So far it's pretty awesome. And this fell out of my hammock, but this is what dinner was. We got here, we were hot, we were tired. We weren't really hungry. 
had some breakfast, having some breakfast. Keegan's already had breakfast, now he's trying out this Werther's Original Popcorn that we got. Kids didn't want to put their rain fly on last night, they wanted to feel the breeze. So, they slept in there. I rocked out right there next to him. Coda slept in here with him. Coda? Dorian lost the dog. <whistles> I see his head. He's bouncing. <laughs> He's playing, getting some exercise. Dorian's playing catch with him. I'm over here making some pancakes. About it right now for the morning at camp. Nothing spectacular, just really enjoying this. We should have stayed up in that shelter up there, but I didn't know that one was even here. I knew about these two, and I knew that one had been destroyed before they rebuilt it, so. All right. I'm gonna enjoy this morning and enjoy some food. Using the good old Solo Stove Titan. And no, I'm not cooking with the bug spray. That's just it's terrible, terrible tick season right now. All right, everyone. Good morning. Coda, sit. Sit, please. Good boy. Okay, good sit. So I'm done with my pancakes, and he's over here just, just beside himself, so... Can this is natural, natural maple syrup. Come here. I'm going to give him some water after this. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. I'll let you look at that. Oh. Oh, it's... <laughs> Titanium. Oh, there you go. Good dog. Smart, buddy. Smart puppy. Yeah, you're smart. All right. I'm going to take that plate now and clean it from you. I gotta <laughs> clean it. <sighs> Last night was fun. Oh yeah. He's Walking. ready for the morning, isn't he? he is, you're beautiful. Me and him were playing tug of war and stuff. Yeah. And frisbee and all that sorts of stuff. You're dirty. I know. <laughs> it's okay. We'll come over here and check out these restrooms. There's where the kids climbed up. You can see the trail a little bit better now. It's just a looks like just a place where people have been going. People have been going and climbing. Hey Dorian, he's up there in the tree. Wave. Wave. Kind of see him waving. <laughs> so here. It's a good spot. Oh, you can see the river. Oh, beautiful view. Let's go over here and let's go over here, Keegan. Let's take a look at this the shelter. Oh, I did. It's creepy. It's creepy? Yeah. So something we bugs flying into your face. Well, there's bugs everywhere. Shortcut. That's not a shortcut, that's a shirt cut. <laughs> hey, I like it already. I like it. It's already like welcoming. Nice little path. Oh. Yeah. Well, there's the other picnic table that should have been over there where we are. Yeah, we love the outdoors. Oh, we do love the outdoors. This is a nice little shelter. This is a good spot. Or the fire pit. Yeah, it looks like they Moved they built it. it up so they could, yeah. This is a nice little spot, though. Dad, is that a dragon? What is that bug? Oh, that is a, a hornet. So, this isn't bad, and they've repaired it on the back side over here. they repaired it there. they repaired it there. It does need, it would need a little bit of cleaning out, but you can just get a branch and use that to clean. Let's see. I would say that one thing we would have to do is definitely bring something to kill the, kill the hornets with. There's a hornet's nest in there. Yeah. I've been stung by them. We have them on our property, or we had them really bad when we bought our house. And remember, I got stung right in the face, right in the middle yeah. of my forehead? Yeah. Oh, it hurt so bad. This. Yeah, it was right by our 
our garage. It was in our shed. Yeah, it was. It was to the to the tool shed. Yeah. Want to keep the mower. So I like I like this spot. I think next time we come, we need to come to this spot. What do you think? Yeah, because uh, it might not be perf perfect, but it still looks really well. And the grass is perfect for camping in a tent. Yeah, you want to, and don't really see a way to, you, know, you could hang a hammock across the trail right there, but that's all right if I got to come and put on the ground, or even if we just brought our, uh, I've got that net, we could bring that oh, net and put the net in. there's millions of hornets in yeah. that nest. Yeah, it's not going there. Not hey, right Dad. now. I want to show you the um the wood what looks like a face. Oh, you're okay. showing me the wood looks like a face? Yeah, uh, it's a creepy skull. All right, follow him up, Coda. Hey, Does this is kind of neat up here, like isn't it? An up down, upside down skull. No, let's take a picture and we'll turn it around. I think it does. What do you guys think? Yeah. Let's see. What Definitely like the eyes, the oh, nose, the think? face. The the eyes are perfect. The eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Whoa. I think it does too. Yeah. Keegan didn't really see how it looks like a skull. Get you some more water, dude. Huh? I was talking to Coda. We're all gonna walk over here and look at the view. enjoy this view again together and, and share it together. Oh, guys, look at the bluebird. You see the bluebird that was just sitting there on it? That was cool. We really like this view. You can see the factory right by our house. Factory. Yeah, the factory. Like what has the air blowing out of it when we're on the interstate to go to our house? Um, that's the power plant, and yeah, honey, can... we're a hundred miles away from home. Oh yeah. To live among the Tara Umara, a near mythical Stone Age tribe of super athletes, the Tara Umara may be the healthiest and most serene people on earth, the greatest runners of all time. When it comes to ultra distances, nothing can beat a Tara Umara. Runner, not a Tara. Alrighty, well we left camp. We're hiking down out of here. Got our packs on, we're loaded. It was a beautiful night. I learned that uh, it's, you can see better at night without oh, a flashlight. Oh, red dirt. Because uh, it, whoa, look at, look this. at this red mm -hmm. dirt. What's wrong? You learn better you can what? You can see at night without a flashlight. Oh yeah, by the moonlight. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Here, Dorian, take Coda. Got him? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so we're going to go down here to this fork, and then we're going to have our three-mile hike back out. Not a lot of footage, not a lot of video, because we really just enjoyed our time and ourselves. <laughs> and they just took off running. They're going to be tired. Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? You hiding out? No. You guys are going to get tired running back and forth on the trail. You're hiding behind my bag. Keegan, you're hiding behind my bag. I think we're going to have to get Keegan a bigger pack now. It's a little bit of a climb, huh? All right, we just walked up that. Going down at night was way easier, but our reward is the view. And they're off again. It's <laughs> It is burning hot and Dorian is just full of energy today. Him and that dog would love the run. 
Look at that. <laughs> and me, I'm sweaty. Keegan. You're a mess. <laughs> You're hot, it's okay. Huh? Are you... Koda, oh, Koda's helping you get up the hills? Yeah, he's, he's running, and I just have to hold on, and he's also bringing me up faster. <laughs> Gotta hold him.